Hey what's up guys, I'm Kim Bonano and welcome back to my channel. Today we are checking out Wulong Fallen Dynasty. Thank you so much Koi Tecmo Games and Team Ninja for providing me with a review code for the game. I am super excited to check it out. I have been so out of it this year that I... Every time someone is like, what games are you looking forward to this year? My brain just blacks out and it's like... Games? <laughs> What's even releasing this year? Another Team Ninja um, also made Neo, which I have never played, and I know you guys have been asking me to play those games as well. So let me know if you want to see like a full playthrough of this game. We'll see if we like it. Let's just go ahead and check it out. All right, here we go. So my manager who sent me um, the code, he's told me it's a little bit like Elden Ring. Um, I don't know if that's true, but uh, we will uh, go ahead and see for ourselves. I could imagine that maybe some combat could be quite similar, but I don't know. I'm excited to check it out with the music. It's so good. I've just been vibing for a little bit here. It's uh, it's really good so far. So Good first impressions. So do we just start off with character creation? Is that also part of the final product? Elixir, the secret of the eternal path, a prize sought by the sovereigns of old. Among them was the first emperor of the Qin, who lusted for immortality. The result of his quest to obtain the forbidden medicine was a catastrophe. The Elixir's power proved overwhelming. And in the years following the dynasty's demise, it continued to exert a shadowy influence on conflicts and political machinations. Many moons pass, and the Han Empire faces its final days. In these dark times, Elixir once again threatens to become the catalyst that awakens the dragons lying dormant across our land. Dragons! <laughs> oh, God. Not the baby! Bear witness to the power of your younger brother. The world shall soon bask in the majesty of the Yellow Heaven. Bring prosperity for all. Bring prosperity for all! Oh no, I feel bad for her. Oh god. Whoa! Militia soldiers! Oh. Whoa! Who is this? Is it us? I hope not. Okay, well, okay. Jesus Christ. I am so overwhelmed with emotions right now. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> okay, this is most definitely us, right? Got a talisman. And we are magically Thank you fine. For saving me. I'm glad you've recovered from your injuries. <gasps> oh, he did it. Right? I found you, bearer of the eternal elixir field. <laughs> uh. Right. Sorry. Oh. Here we go. Oh, we can be a female! <gasps> oh, definitely. <gasps> oh, she's... 
my god, they're all absolutely gorgeous. <gasps> Look at that. She looks very young. I really liked her. So pretty. Like the ponytail. Yes. Face. Shape. That's a bit like me, isn't it? I have quite a school. Am I gonna make myself or am I just gonna make someone who looks really cool? This is very customizable. I was not expecting this. I didn't even know we could play as a female. There is so much customization. What the hell? The height of the chin depth and central chin width. My dear God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. They certainly some interesting ones. I'm a bit more of a straight brow kind of gal, but for her face, oh, we're gonna go with the straight brow. Eyebrow spacing. So you kind of, um, when you have your nose, the edges here, your brow, brow kind of want to stop there. <laughs> Beauty tip, that's what we are going for. I think we can adjust the nose later, perhaps, but iris. <gasps> oh, let's give her some really cool eyes. That's kind of pretty. I like that. I kind of just want to... <gasps> face decorations. <gasps> oh yeah. Oh yeah, she's getting something in her face, that's for sure. <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> Freckles. <gasps> oh, that's kind of cool, isn't it? <laughs> should I go with that? Or should I just give her a scar? I think a scar could be better instead of her just looking absolutely miserable. I think, you know, the face is just a little bit too perfect right now. There we go. I like it. <coughs> oh my god. Right. <laughs> I really like this hair, it was kind of cool. The bun! Oh my god. I love how they have like the long uh, piece in the back because it's very realistic. I remember when my hair was super long, even now you can see there's like a long piece in the back because it just needs to go there. Wait, why is this all this so goddamn cute? Super Sanic. <laughs> the Karen cut. Well, that is kind of a pretty cut. I kind of like it. That's also super pretty. The thing is, with hair like this in video games, it always looks so stiff. Like, there's just so much hairspray in it. I kind of want to go with this, although I don't really know what's going on on the side there, but... I feel like, it looks really cool. I'm honestly good with how she looks, the voice. like that one. <laughs> Voice pitch. I think that's fine. Alright. She looks cool. Very pretty. I like her. That's the first 30 minutes. Finally. After all this time. Game. My wish has been fulfilled. As long as we have you, victory is still possible. Consider that a talisman of protection. It may just save your life one day. I can respawn? I cannot allow this travesty to continue. Look Let at us. us. I love her. Love her. Beautiful. I made that. <laughs> All right. So freaking butter. I'm sure it will prove useful. It's a medicine created from refined chi. With it, you can heal most wounds. Okay. Thank you. I can move. Uh. All right. 
Do I need to talk to you? Okay, we just move. There's a guy there. I see something shiny over here. New with R2. Okay. I don't think we will be able to pass through this way. No. Perhaps if we can climb past that watchtower. Watchtower? Hmm. Maybe we need to get up on the roof somewhere. Push that down, or... I don't think I have a bow. <laughs> to shoot. To shoot it. Normal attack and spirit attack. Normal attacks are fast and can easily increase your spirit. Spirit attacks are slower, but deal more spirit damage, which can reduce the enemy's spirit gorg. Furthermore, when you have positive spirit, you can consume the surplus spirit to increase damage. You can also you will also not fa fall blah, 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 blah. You will also not falter during attacks and will penetrate the enemy's guard. Right. I knew I was right in trusting you. So we <laughs> All right, definitely something to get used to. But oh, I Can I Oh, I can guard. Okay. I was like, how do I dodge? <laughs> That's good to know. So, is it like parrying? Is it the same thing or... There we go. How do I heal? I feel like I'm low on health. There we go. I press the uh, up D-pad. Okay, deflect. Circle. Uh, left stick plus circle right before receiving an enemy attack dodge. Using circle will allow you to redirect your enemy's attack, timing this action to meet the enemy's attack. Not only allows you to redirect the attack, it will also lower the enemy's spirit and shrink the lower end of the enemy's spirit gore, gore, <laughs> gore, blah, blah. At the same time, it will increase your own spirit. Press circle, circle to dodge and put some distance between you and your enemy. Alright. Oh, deflect. That did not go well. There we go. That's weird. Oh god. I'm pressing R1 to attack. It's a bit weird. It's gonna take some getting used to, that's for sure, because I think, yeah, R1 is to change the stance, it looks like. I did it again, I pressed R1. <laughs> it's a bad habit. Or it's a normal habit, right? Like... Um, there we go. Underestimating an enemy with high morale is certain to end badly for you. Your morale rank affects your combat power. Likewise, an enemy with a high morale rank is more dangerous. Oh, a three? Oh, no. Are you okay, buddy? <laughs> Um, if we lower that, it might serve as a platform. Oh, it's a platform to get over. I don't know if we want to go over there, though. Should we? Probably not a good idea. I don't think the game wants us to go over here. There's quite a few of them. Okay. Uh, 
Let's try this first. Not that I'm scared to fail, it's more... I don't want to go into something that's going to seem unfair, you know? Oh, is it just for a way to get back up? Okay, well, never mind. Might just be a shortcut for when we die. And I only have, like, one healing item left. I'm not doing too well, guys. I'm sorry. Alright, there we go. you from further harm. Tend to your wounds while you can. Oh, how sweet. Um, oh, he's a zero. <laughs> ah, fire. Okay, our morale is increasing. That's good. I'm guessing it's gonna plumb back down to zero if we, um, if we die. Ooh. This was the village elder's residence. So the yellow turbans won't even stay their swords for the elderly. Yeah, a bunch of bastards. Can I, like, break this? No. Ah, oh, that's awful. Wait, can I get up there somehow? Hmm. I'm not sure. I don't think so. I just see an item up there, so it's probably possible. I don't know, maybe we get back here somehow. Four! Critical blows. Yes, enemies. Uh, an enemy will wind up to perform a critical blow, which cannot be blocked with guard. Taking damage from a critical blow will lower your moral rank by one. Sheesh! If you redirect an enemy's critical blow, Blow the power of the deflect increases, and you will can break, and you can significantly break the enemy stance and recover your s negative spirit. Oh my God, it's quite complicated. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to get the hang of it. It's just you know a lot of information to take in at once. Did I do it? I think I did. The peasants who suffer from political corruption and natural disasters. Yet, they have deteriorated into mere bandits that prey on others who are also weak. Whatever could have changed them to this extent, I wonder. The elixir. Right, that's his name. Hmm, yeah. character menu. Oh, we're not paused. <gasps> Documents. Character. Ooh, blindfolded boy. The blindfolded boy is a young man whose true identity is unknown. He currently resides in a small mountain village located in Langua Commander. Sorry, I can't read. <laughs> he turned up at the village after fleeing the fires of war that devastated his home. Although he has no family to rely on, he is on good terms with the villagers and manages to live a simple life despite the world remaining rife with conflict. He has a calm demeanor and keen in intellect beyond his young years, meaning he isn't easily faced. He is not fond of violence, but will take up arms to protect himself. Shang Xiu Xiao? Xiao? Shang Xiao? Wait, I can't... Why does it do that? I can't read. I am not gonna be able to read that. Zhang Jiu, hailing from Julu Kome- I- Why does it- I am- Can I- Is the text gonna show again? I do not read fast enough to, um... Okay. Um, not a fan of that. Okay, well it returned there. At the end of the later hand period, I mean, due to political. Okay, I, I, I am so sorry. You can pause the video. I will let these roll out because I do not have time to read it. I will read it. I will pause it in editing and read it because I know it's not going very fast. But for me to read it out loud, I can't. I'm sorry.
Right, so that is the first thing I am not a fan of. The world is on the precipice of drastic change. Um, there's even more different menus, things. So there's going to be more about them as we progress the game. But I do not like not being able to just read it at my own pace that it needs to scroll and I can't just scroll on my own. It does that automatically. Which is a little bit annoying. I hope they can change that somehow. Okay, does it want me to... Equipment menu. Oh. Oh. I can have a do another a pole arm. <gasps> Ill turban bandit. Okay. Damage taken in desperate condition, earth phase. So there's also equipment weight and load, probably. Do we wear that? Doesn't look as cool. So how do I switch weapon? I do not know. Oh, you hold R2. Okay, I see. Okay, it's a bit slower, but... After resting at a battle flag, your HP and uses of Dragon's Cure Putt will be restored. You can also access a variety of game functions. Okay. I'm just gonna loot this first. Got a note. Is that like a document thing? Encyclopedia. No. Oh, is that just... Oh. I'm guessing there's a lot of lore in there. Tutorials, photograph, settings, documents, titles, battle summary. Oh, that's neat. What's that is. We have our stats here. Get okay, a positive and negative effects. Um, right. All right. Race battle flag. Let's go. Best flag forward. <laughs> By raising a battle flag, you can raise your fortitude rank. Your moral rank drops when you are killed, but it will not go below the fortitude rank. Oh. We can level up. Wood's virtue affects HP and the amount of spirits lost when attacked. Fire virtue affects the amount of spirit gained when attacking and the amount of spirit consumed by material arts. Earth virtue affects the equipment weight limit and the amount of spirit gained when deflecting an attack. Effect, uh, metal virtue affects the duration that a high level of spirit can be maintained for and the spirit consumed by wizardry, wizardry spells. Reading. Water virtue affects how easily enemies can detect you and the amount of spirit consumed when deflecting. Okay, so we have 340 and we need 800. Right. Well, we have leveled up a little bit. Deliveries. From ally warriors. No items. Travel to another battlefield and battle preparation. Battle flight customization. Wait, what's the difference? Maybe we can find some. I'm not sure. Okay. He burns. Here we go. One wrong step and we are done for. We must. 
must tread carefully. Hmm. I'm thinking we could just use the thing we just learned about. Uh, so I'm a little bit unsure. Use, create shortcuts. Oh, well, there you go. Okay. So now we can switch between them. Okay, maybe I should have waited. Can go this way. How have such unworldly things found their way here? Oh no! Nah. -uh. <laughs> Fifteen? Are you kidding? That is. It's collapsed. We shall have to find another way around. <gasps> we got. Oh, new footwear. Here we go. Oh wait, no, we're not wearing anything, are we? Sorry. Still getting used to everything. Increase marking flag. Increases your fortitude rank as well as source HP. Okay. Nice little ch checkpoint, kind of. Whee! Fatal strike. From the rear or above against enemy unaware of you. Ooh. Oh, come on. There we go. Let's go, buddy. level four. Well, we are three now, so. Oh, shit. Come on, then. Stay behind me, please. My dogs want to get in here. Alright, so maybe we can work our way up of war. My father, who worked for the government, passed away, and I became separated from the rest of my family. I long for the day when I can find them, and we can be together once more. I feel so bad for him. Another checkpoint. Level six, holy... Uh, we could also level up, so affects the amount of spirit gained when attacking and the amount of spirits consumed in material arts. <sighs> so is it like attack? Yeah, attack power kind of. Um, let's go for that a little bit. So it's really nice you can kind of, you know, if you want more of a stealth build where you're just like kind of an assassin or something, you can do that. Or if you just want to be a warrior, you can do that as well. Now this looks a bit sus. <laughs> uh oh. Wait. Wait, they can jump. They can jump. What the hell is that? <gasps> They're like zombies. Done well to get this far, but it's not over yet. Ah, uh, yes. Once we rid this area of enemies, might we be able to stop by my house? There's something I wish to give you as thanks. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh. oh, I can go past those. He's at level six. Oh, these are eight. Oh, I 
can't do it. Damn it. I'm probably gonna die. I apologize. <laughs> There we go. I'm really trying. I really am. <laughs> I don't know. It's not that easy for me. Maybe if I had played like Neo and Neo 2, it might have come a bit more natural, but I don't know how similar the games are. Material Arts 1 and 2. Unleash a powerful material arts attack that can pe pierce uh, the enemy scar by consuming spirit. You cannot perform material arts when your spirit core decreases to the lower limit. The type of material arts will differ depending on the weapon used. Only rare weapons have two kind of material arts. Okay, so R1 plus scar. Oh shit. Shit. I died! <gasps> Russian defeat. Okay. So my rank is gonna drop by one, right? You will lose your moral points and half of your genuine. Uh, oh, my half of my XP. When you are killed by an enemy, the moral rank in, of the enemy that killed you will increase. Oh, you're kidding. You can regain your lost genuine Kai and moral points by defeating the same enemy. If the enemy is a boss, you will regain them by challenging them once again. However, if you die again before regaining them, the lost genuine, genuine Kai and moral points will disappear forever. <laughs> kind of like Soulsborne. Uh, maybe if we use our other weapon. Oh! You guys switched like that. That's cool. Uh, okay. Guessing enemies respawn. quite used to the square circle thing, but I hope we will get there. Okay. Maybe our... Um, material arts is a bit stronger or s faster with this weapon. Okay, there we go. Like you are destined for great things. We shall find out soon enough. I didn't get to use it, but I think once they kind of uh, stun you a little bit and kind of get you locked in with the attacks and such, it's not. Oh shit! He saw me. Is he gonna get through? You helped him! Got a bow when I roll. There we go. Raise that flag! <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so it's not gonna. My fortitude is not gonna drop to anything below seven now. That would be the leader of this unit. A formidable opponent, no doubt. I'm not ready. Well, let's do it. First try! Let's go! 
Okay, I definitely like the material arts for this weapon better. Although it might not be as any faster. It's good. I like it. A well-earned victory. Level 10! We're getting there. Alright. Should we we can level up. Surely. We no. So just one. I think we're gonna focus a little bit on this, but I was definitely also like to increase the the how fast enemies detect us because they're quite fast. And it could be nice to get like a few stealth kills. I hope that everyone who in. escaped the brutality has gotten to safety now. Here we go. I sense a great danger ahead. Do be careful. Uh oh. Boss time? Like real boss? Oh no. For sure. 100%. <laughs> Dogs of the Han <laughs> Court, are you? Shangri? That's the. <gasps> Any who oppose us shall know only the end of our blades. Oh no. I'll crush you like the vermin you are. Oh shit. <laughs> shit, okay. Be ready for anything. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing, but it seems to be working. Shit, okay, thank you for that one. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Shit. Oh god. No. I'm not doing any damage to him, am I? One HP in a dream! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You're not as weak as you look, huh? Thank you. Sorry, boy. <laughs> oh my god, I was so close. I was so close, I think. I don't know. <laughs> One HP and a fail. My god. <laughs> that was fun, though. But yeah, I just definitely don't have the hang of the combat just yet, but I feel like this boss fight is going to help me.
That was an absolute fail. Um, I think I'm still a little bit confused about the... Because you uh, block or you parry and you dodge on the same button. In basic training, you will be able to practice action controls in the battle flag menu, set so travel, and then other to move to basic training. <laughs> the game is like, I don't think you're ready, right, ready. I don't think you can do this. Well, bitch, I played all the Souls games, almost. All of them, but two. <laughs> I can do this. I love it. Okay. Ah, no! No! Ah, he got me! Shit! Fuck. <laughs> it was going so well. I feel like I almost I almost have it. Oh shit. <sighs> for one minute. For ten seconds. I feel like, alright. I've got the hang of this, and then I just get knocked on my ass. Oh, I dashed at that bitch. Took a lot of focus, power? though. <laughs> Jeez. I, General of Man, brother of the Great Sage Mentor! I shall not betray my brother's trust! <gasps> no! Are you kidding? Are you kidding? <sighs> Get in focus. Oh my god. I should have seen it coming from a mile away. We have to do it all over again, don't we? Yeah. You 
will be begging me Fuck. to spare you. Have I missed something? Like, maybe we can increase ourselves a little bit more before we try again because I feel like it takes a long ass time for us to shit. Oh, we killed us! Great. Oh yeah, I also have the... The... Um, triangle. <laughs> that attack. Forgot. Alright, we're gonna... Um, try something. But well, we was at 15 before, but... Oh well. Where is that thing? Um, we could try. <laughs> Missed it.
Jesus. Shit. Damn it! I was so happy because I thought I had finally defeated that boss, but nope. Why have I not learned about this? I don't know how to use the spells though. There we go. R2 and then... Okay. I'm sure a person of your caliber shall have little difficulty mastering wizardry spells. Probably, yeah. Um, should I just... I hope my family is still alive and well. Wherever they are. Should I just try this weapon? Yeah. I know. You'll be begging me to spare you. Getting a little bit Alright. Um I might go back to the other weapon. I know I changed my mind quickly, but I did not give it a chance with triangle. Uh, and that seems to help quite a bit. Oh, there we go. Shit. Okay. Okay. I understood something now. <laughs> Progress. We learn very slowly here, but learn by doing. No idea what to do here. Even now. All 
right, we might stand a chance now. <laughs> I don't know what that means, bro. Okay. Where am I? I am so panicky here. I don't know what the fuck the blind boy means. The jade. Like what? Am I just need supposed to wait for something to happen and then press a button? I didn't get it. We can't let our guard down, even now. I feel like I'm getting the hang of that part. This second part? No. I see. I don't think it's fair to show it like that. It's just t that like the t it's triangle and circle I need to press. And then having to look at that I got killed. <laughs> now I know. Okay. Now we can hopefully do this. <laughs> I'm not mad or anything, it's just confusing in my opinion. At least the bus run is fair. <laughs> I don't have to skip the cutscene. The game does it itself, I like that. well
I pressed that button so quickly. You have no idea. <laughs> I was just waiting for him to say it. <laughs> My God. <gasps> Whoa, that was so cool. <sighs> Look at her. Very well. No, now, I did not. Shut up. By my hand. Why are you? You shall die. What? Huh? Elon, every bit as strong as the rumors say. Whoa. Uh oh. You took it? Oh my god. Oh, and into the ocean we go. Nice. This world is steeped in chaos. It needs one like you to bring peace to it. I cannot let you die. Thank you, blindfolded boy. <laughs> oh no, we still have the charm. <laughs> but maybe he took the power from my. I don't know. No, because we just revived. I'm <laughs> confused. <laughs> hmm. Oh my god. Fucking birds. There we go. The intro. Journey's beginning. Awesome. <laughs> Alright guys, I think for my own sake I'm going to end this video here. I defeated the first boss, which I'm very happy about, but my god, it was quite a steep learning curve for me. But my god, it took such a long time for me to get the hang of it. I was just, you know, using regular attacks in the beginning, and I mean, I killed him one time by just doing that, but if I would have not figured the whole uh, material arts thing out. Well, I also use that, but the whole triangle thing is so important. I had no clue. No clue! Um, but that was definitely what saved me in the end. So I'm so sorry for the rough um, gameplay. It's... I'm usually... It does take me quite a while to, like, get the hang of stuff like that. And... But I managed to do it. Probably not the way that everyone else um, do it. But I did it my own way, <laughs> and I figured things out along the way. I should have probably taken that basic training that the game recommended me to do, but oh well. So yeah, this is quite a challenge. Um, I was expecting a little bit of a challenge, but I don't know if I was expecting that much resistance from the game. But I had a lot of fun playing it, and I feel like I'm starting to get a hang of it, and I... That I can see how that boss is so helpful to get the player to understand the mechanics of the game and he was cool like I, I think he was fun yeah I do have quite a lot of unfinished games on the channel um well mo mainly alien isolation I'm a little bit worried to if you guys want to see a full playthrough of this game we'll see how this first video does but yeah you guys can let me know if you want to see more of this game I could definitely do at least a few more videos on it if you guys are interested if not we can just play something else there is plenty of games out there and there's a lot coming as well so yeah I just had a ton of fun um, playing this game so again a huge thank you to Koi Tecmo Games and Team Ninja for allowing me to play this game a little bit early and to have a video is ready for you guys I am so grateful and I'm so happy that I got a chance to play this game um, I had, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I would love to play more if you guys are interested. If not, that is also completely fine. Um, so yeah, 
But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel. I also stream over on Twitch and you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And if you want to support my channel even more, you can check out the links in the description down below. That is all for me for now. So bye and take care.